Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and call our meeting to order. We have uh, one item on our agenda. We're going to hear from uh, Representative Efstration on Senate Bill 70. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the subcommittee. I'm here today to present Senate Bill 70, which was introduced by Senator Miller. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, this um, provides for a three-year extension amending the date of effectiveness to 2020 uh, concerning the Hospital Medicaid Financing Program Act signed into law in 2013. Just to uh, hit some high, high points here, the payments are based upon a percentage of net patient revenue and the Board of the Department of Community Health has the authority to lower the payment percentage uh, for certain hospitals. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is uh, necessary, uh, consistent with state appropriations for um, federal drawdown uh, as well as um, payments into this uh, separate fund in which these monies are held. Mr. Chairman, the uh, under existing law, the board has the authority to discontinue the payments if the funds are no longer available for, for federal matching funds and uh, the board um, shall do that under those circumstances. Additionally, the General Assembly under existing law uh, has the ability to override the board if, uh, if anything's done that um, this body and the General Assembly would disagree with. Uh, it allows for certain exemptions um, and uh, as mentioned, the funds raised are placed in the Indigent Care Trust Fund, which is a separate accounting. Um, the department board would be the ones to vote um, concerning the uh, the amount and Mr. Chairman it's my understanding that this is utilized in 49 of the 50 states currently and would ask for um, the committee to make a favorable recommendation of Senate Bill 70. I'm happy to answer any questions if there are any. Great. Do we have some questions from the committee? Mash your button over there. That's six. Try that. Try that. Am I on? Yep. Hello? Yep. Uh, Representative, isn't it true that this is a state administered federal program and that if any of the rules or limitations changes due to revenue streams by the federal government that would uh, limit our program? So if they turn this down, the matching funds like an FMAP would be, that they would actually reduce funding for our state? So, That's correct. Yes, sir. So this is our really only opportunity to help sort of shore up a hole that the federal government does not they promise health care but don't provide it 100% uh, of that and rely on the states to dig into our pockets to pay for their health care, correct? Yes, sir. A uh, passage of this has a tremendous impact on the budget. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Your button now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, to Representative Affestration, um, just for the record, we're only changing the date and the substance of the program will remain the same. Is that is That's that true? correct, Madam Whip. It's a one-page bill. It's just uh, changing the date. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any other questions? No questions. Uh, what's the pleasure of the committee? I move to pass. Second. Have a motion and a second that uh, Senate Bill uh, 70 do pass. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. So we'll pass it along to the full committee with a recommendation of due pass. Thank you.